It's a balmy 40 below zero today. And we're back up on Lake of the Woods. You know, it's been a little while since we've been up here. And I think the last two or three times I've been up here, I was over at Arneson's, which is further west. And so this time around, we're up near Baudette. And I guess there's, I guess we call a rural resorts right on the rainy river. And, you know, what's cool about this is you come out here and there's just hundreds of fish houses. There's day houses, there's overnight houses. The resorts, I mean, it's turnkey. You can come up here with a bunch of buddies go out on the bombardiers and go out and fish. And this is a place you can come if you don't have a lot of equipment, if you haven't done a lot of ice fishing, this is a place where everything's taken care of for you. We're staying at Adrian's this time, and Adrian's has this road. If you're not staying at Adrian's, I think it's like a $15 road pass, but this road goes 18 miles north, and so we're pulling the trailer. We're gonna go to the end of the road, unload the Defender, and uh, just go do a little exploring. Basically our strategy is we're just gonna island hop in the sense that there's all these deep rock reefs out here and we're just gonna go out and just kind of set off on the edges. They're not on the rocks, they're right on that edge. So we're trying to find that bottom edge in that 30, 32 foot range. And we're just gonna try to pick what, you know, looks like fishy spots on the GPS. And nice thing is there's hardly been anybody out in a lot of these spots. I mean, there's some old tracks and stuff, but you can tell there's, there hasn't been a lot of people fishing. You look around and we don't have anybody within miles of us. So we're just gonna, I think what our strategy will be is we'll set up on a spot, give it an hour. If it doesn't feel right or look right, we'll just try moving to some more spots until we run out of time. Oh, come on, here's a nice mark. Come on, eat it. Oh, there he hit it. Good fish. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I love that. Let's hope it's a walleye. It might be an eel pout. This is a good fish here. Get that transducer out of the hole. Let's see what we're dealing with here. <laughs> here she comes. Oh, nice walleye, nice walleye. That's why we came up here. Look at that. Oh, yes, that is just gorgeous. That's what I love about Lake of the Woods. Every time you drop down a spoon, you've got the potential to catch really nice fish. And in the meantime, there's just so many fish in this lake. It's also a great place to come if you're just looking for a meal of fresh walleye because you're gonna catch plenty of eaters. But look at that. That is why we came up here. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. All right, we'll get this fish in the water right away. That is just a porker of a walleye. There she goes. Nice, nice, nice. That is cool. You know, so on Lake of the Woods, shiners are a big part of this ecosystem, big part of the forage base. And so, you know, on the dead sticks, we're running shiners. As far as tipping our spoons, we're running shiners. It's just a ribbon flutter spoon. But I'll show you a little trick that I like to do with these shiners. Look them right through the head. And then what I do is I pinch them about halfway back. And what happens is when you jig it, it really dances and flutters. Just, I don't know, there's just something about it. I don't know if it just puts more smell in the water, but it just drives them nuts. An old timer showed that to me here many years ago up on Lake of the Woods here. And just something that's worked really well over the years. You know, when they'll hit a full minnow. There's times where if you're missing fish, you can drop down and use a minnow head. 
but uh, that I call that broke back shiner is just deadly. Oh, there's a fish there. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh, nice perch. Look at that. <laughs> well, that is a bonus Lake of the Woods jumbo. Boy, that's a nice fish right there. Look at there, a little crayfish and that fish and the shiner that we caught it on. But look at that, that is just gorgeous. Very cool. There are some nice perch in Lake of the Woods when you can find them. Just kind of a classic one-two punch on Lake of the Woods. I'm jigging with one rod. And I've got another rod next to me with a dead stick. I'm just putting a plain hook and a shiner. And I'm fishing it a couple feet off the bottom. That can vary. Sometimes these bigger fish will ride up higher. There we go. There we go. Sauger. Which that's not a bad sauger at all. That there is one of my favorite eating fish. That fish is going to go in the grease. Oh, we had to reel that other rod up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big shake. Oh, it doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Perfect eater. Tastes good tonight. You know, Lake of the Woods is just a tremendous fishery. In my mind, it's just one of those premier destination fisheries for ice anglers. And, you know, you have this enormous lake. We have this tremendous walleye population. But then you also have so many businesses, so many resorts that just offer turnkey ice fishing. You can show up here with very little equipment and come out here and just have a ball. You can come up here and bring your own equipment. You know, so a lot of times when we come up here, you know, we'll just bring a group of buddies and just come up here and have fun. You know, part of it's the fishing, but also part of it's the camaraderie. And, you know, you bring a group of buddies up here and the advantage of having a group of anglers is that it's just easier to find fish. It's easier to figure out what these fish want, you know, when you can compare notes and, and just have more lines in the water. Oh, there's, oh, he's going to hit the dead stick. There's, oh, there he, there he did. Yeah, there he is. He's on it. Oh, this is a nicer fish. Oh, yeah. Look, he doesn't want to give up. Look at that shake. Is that, is that nuts? Now he's turning. Now he's turning. Look at that perch. Look at that guy. What a toad. Lake of the Woods goal. This is a dandy here. So I would say about 50% of the fish we've got today were on dead sticks. Um, and what I'm running on this dead stick is uh, the new ribbon spoon and hooking a full minnow on that and just letting it hang down there. They uh, absolutely been crushing this thing. Oh, that's uh, eel pout, walleye, and that big old perch. Well, let's get another one on there and see if we can't get another one.
is. There we go. The one-two punch. They just rolled in. It's funny. You have half an hour, you're not marking nothing, and then all of a sudden you get a wave come in underneath you. That's just a great eater. Oh, and I'm hungry for fish, so I'm going to get that one. Yeah, we're going to eat fish tonight, which is part of the Lake of the Woods experience as far as I'm concerned. You know, dead sticking can be so effective for walleyes. There's a lot of fisheries where the ecosystem is really driven by shiners. So this is pretty common in northern Minnesota and a lot of places, but what I like to do with the shiner is hook them right above the anal fin. I find just the weight of that hook makes that minnow dance really well, but they stay alive good and it, and it stays on the hook good because but shiners are just really delicate. So I put this in the water here and just see how that, that shiner can just dance around on that hook. You know, and a question we get a lot concerning using dead sticks for walleyes, just how high off the bottom to put them. And a lot of times we're fishing them fairly close to the bottom, but the thing to remember is you don't have to always be on the bottom. And so a lot of times I like to have the mentality where I'll fish them as high as I can. In the sense that if you can fish them a little higher, these fish can see it from further away. And a lot of times, especially if there's a lot of small fish around, sometimes if you can just lift it up a little bit, you can keep those small fish away because a lot of times those big fish have an easier time leaving the security of the bottom and they run a little higher usually. And so a lot of times I might be two to four feet, but if, lot, if I'm seeing fish on the Vexler that are five to 10 feet, I'll just lift them accordingly, but I always try to fish above the fish. And so don't be afraid to get it up a little ways off the bottom where these fish can see it. You know, so we've gone up to Lake of the Woods in the past, obviously, and it's always just a, it's a place that we look forward to fishing in. There's so many good resorts on Lake of the Woods. You know, we've gone on Arneson's before, and they do a phenomenal job. Really large fleet of fish houses, really nice resort. Everything is right and tight at Arneson's. And then we've gone on Adrian's, we've gone on a Sportsman's, we've gone on a Wigwam. I mean, there's some really good resorts on Lake of the Woods that really cater to ice anglers. And we've gone up here and done a lot of walleye fishing, obviously. We've gone up here at late ice and targeted big pike. The season is long, you know, and so it's an opportunity where we've, you know, gone up here in the middle of March, you know, late in the ice fishing season and still had a lot of ice and still a lot of fishing, you know, when some of the other opportunities further south, of, they're starting to dry up, they're starting to deteriorate. And so long seasons up at Lake of the Woods, lots of fishing opportunities, lots of resorts that cater to ice anglers. You know, if you love to ice fish, it's definitely something to try at least once. I'm gonna hit that dead stick. He hooked himself. Oh, this is a nicer fish. This is a nicer fish. Oh, that's a big shake. There we go. Look at this guy. Nice. Another Lake of the Woods nice eater right there. There he goes. He's posing for you. Let's go get another one. set up here uh, prime time of the day been fishing all day uh, myself and Mike here and throughout the day we've, we've really been throwing it all at them um, it's kind of nice fishing with a buddy because we're able to you know kind of um, go through our, our whole arsenal and try different things back and forth see what's working um, throughout the day I think we've kind of dialed it in and we're marking a lot of fish we're getting a lot of bites Ooh, we got a little better mark here Come on, come on, come on, come on. There he is, nice. Oh, okay. Feels good. That's better fish. Yep. Oof. Need a hand over there? Oh yeah, I probably will in a little bit. Make those head shakes. Nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Whoa, nice one, nice one. Oh, good one. Nice oh, there he is, nice. Ooh, look at that, Heck baby. Yeah, that's a better fish right nice. there. Nice, nice. 
Keep nice. going, man. Thanks, buddy. All right. You think you'd let me fish? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you don't want me in there, do you? That's a better one. Yeah, it is. Nice fish. Here he goes. Back home. Good job, brother. Thanks. So I think part of the appeal for Lake of the Woods, at least for me, is you, know, you can come out here, you can come out with a big group of buddies if you want. You know, you can just come out here and just catch a bunch of fish, you know, and with the sauger limits and the walleye limits, you can also keep quite a few fish. And so we came up here, you know, we had a group of us and basically everybody caught fish, you know, and you catch fish and at the end of the day, you're always eating fish. And so we ate a lot of fish up here, cooked them a few different ways. And it's just a great destination fishery. You know, if you love to ice fish, and you just want to get bit and see a red mark on your Vexlar, Lake of the Woods is a pretty good destination. <laughs>